Okay, so I'm going to show you another example of how to find the LCM using prime factorization. I'm going to use prime factorization for this question because the numbers are quite large, so it's a lot easier for me to use prime factorization instead of trying to list them all out. So step one is the same as our HCF video, so I'm going to fly through this. We just need to find the prime factors. So again, I'm going to set up my factor trees and I'm going to start working this out. So that's going to go in there 18 times. 2 goes in there uh, 9 times, and 3 goes in there 3 times. So therefore, 36 is equals to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Next thing I'm going to do is find the prime factors of 45. So um, the first prime number that's going to divide in there is 3. 3 goes in there uh, 15 times. 3 divides into 15 again 5 times. So therefore, the prime factors of 45 are 3 times 3 times 5. So next step, so step number two, is I'm actually going to ask you to find the HCF first. So I know this is asking us for LCM, but I'd actually like you to work out HCF first of all. So the way that we work out HCF is we circle anything that they have in common. So we can see they have the number 3 in common, and they have another number 3 in common. So therefore the HCF is going to be equals to 3 times 3, which gives me 9. Although we haven't been asked for the HCF, we want to now use that answer to help us find the LCM. The way that we're going to do that is we're going to take our answer from HCF. So I'm going to write down 9. And I'd like you to multiply that by anything that has not been used in your prime factor list. That means that you're going to take anything that doesn't have a circle beside it. So looking at that list, we can see that the number 2 and another number 2 and the number five do not have circles. And therefore the LCM is going to be equals to 180. So that means that the lowest multiple that 36 and 45 have in common is 180. Okay, next thing I'd like you to do is have a go at finding the lowest common multiple between 16 and 40. Please pause the video, have a go at it using prime factorization and you can play it to see how you got on. Okay, so you can see what I've done so far is I've found the prime factors of 16 and 40. Step two, again, is to find the HCF, even though we're being asked to find the LCM. In some questions, they'll ask you to find both, which is convenient because you can use it to follow on from each other. So to find the HCF, we're going to circle anything that they have in common. So they have a two in common, and they have another two in common, and one more two. So therefore, the HCF is going to be two times two times two, and that's going to give me 8. Next step to find the LCM is that we're going to write down our answer for HCF, which was 8, and we're going to multiply it by anything that has not already been used in our list for um, HCF. So that's going to be the number 2 and the number 5. So therefore, the answer is going to be 8 times 2, which gives me 16, times by 5, which is going to give me 80. So the lowest multiple that's in common between 16 and 40 is the number 80.